In this video, we will look at how basic education for adults in Washington fits into the bigger picture of the world of education in the United States, Washington State, and the Washington State Board for Community and Technical Colleges. Nationally, adult basic education and literacy is under the United States Department of Education and the Office of Career, Technical, and Adult Education, or OCTE. The President of the United States has the ultimate responsibility for education in the nation. The U.S. Department of Education is the agency in the federal government that establishes policy for, administers, and coordinates most federal assistance to education. It assists the President in executing educational policies for the nation and in implementing laws enacted by Congress. The department's mission is to serve America's students to promote student achievement and preparation for global competitiveness by fostering education excellence and ensuring equal access. The U.S. Department of Education is administered by the United States Secretary of Education out of the office of the Secretary. The Secretary advises the President on federal policies, programs, and activities related to education in the United States. The Undersecretary of Education, at the top of the chart on the right, is the third highest ranking official in the U.S. Department of Ed. The Undersecretary leads the Office of Career Technical and Adult Education and oversees all policies, programs, and activities related to post secondary education, vocational education, adult education, corrections education, and federal student aid and the One White House Initiative, the historically black colleges and universities. The Undersecretary of Education is appointed by the President of the United States, with approval of the U.S. Senate. Basic Education for Adults is administered by the Office of Career, Technical, and Adult Education. OCTE is then divided into three divisions. The first is Adult Education and Literacy, US. The Division of Adult Education and Literacy is responsible for enabling adults to acquire the basic skills necessary to function in today's society so that they can benefit from the completion of secondary school, enhanced family life, attaining citizenship, and participating in job training and retraining programs. Corrections education is administered by the Division of Adult Education and Literacy as well. The second division is the Division of Career and Technical Education. This division is responsible for helping all students acquire challenging academic and technical skills and be prepared for high-skill, high-wage, or high-demand occupations in the 21st century global economy. The third division in OCTE is the Division of Community Colleges. It is overseen by the Deputy Assistant Secretary for Community Colleges, the Deputy Assistant Secretary for Community Colleges provides leadership for initiatives supporting career technical education, adult education, correctional and reentry education, financial aid, and community colleges. Here in Washington State, adult basic education is overseen by the Washington State Board for Community and Technical Colleges. The State Board for Community and Technical Colleges, or SBCTC, is responsible for administering the Community and Technical College Act and providing leadership and coordination for Washington's public system of 34 community and technical colleges and community-based organizations funded with Workforce Innovations and Opportunity Act, or WIOA, Basic Education for Adults Title II federal dollars. The SBCTC is governed by a nine-member board appointed by the governor. The State Board for Community and Technical Colleges deploys its services to the colleges and other stakeholders from the six divisions listed on the slide. Education, Legislative Relations, Communications, Association of College Trustees, Business Operations, and Information Technology. Within the State Board for Community and Technical Colleges, Basic Education for Adults is part of the SBCTC Educational Services Division. The Ed Division coordinates and provides service to the community and technical college districts in all matters related to instruction, student services, e-learning, and policy research. In addition, the Ed Division builds and maintains agency partnerships with K-12, universities, and workforce development agencies on such collaborative efforts as transfer degree pathways, welfare to work, 
corrections education, and dual enrollment. It provides research and analysis to support statewide policy development and administers basic education for adults, BETA, immigrant education, the GED, adult high school completion programs, and IBEST as foundational pieces of the Guided Pathways initiative and development. The Education Division is divided into the following departments. Workforce Education, Basic Education for Adults, Research, Fiscal Management Education, K-12 Partnerships, Student Success or Guided Pathways, Student Services, Academic Transfer, and E-Learning. Our Office for Basic Education for Adults, or BETA, administers and monitors Title II of the Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act and the federal and state adult education and literacy funds allocated to local providers. BETA also provides program development and training activities in order to assure equitable, rigorous, and high-quality basic skill services for all students across the state. Our main focus here is to be the advocate for our students and programs to the state board, office career, technical, and adult education, state and federal legislators, and most importantly, to be a catalyst for equity and innovation. The basic education staff is made up of a highly equity-focused, knowledgeable, experienced, innovative, and dedicated team of 11 individuals, which include the positions of the Washington State Director of Basic Education for Adults. The director's main areas of responsibility are strategic direction implementation and management, Department Operations and Policy Coordination, WIOA State Plan, Title II Development and Implementation, Performance Target Negotiations and Funding, and Liaison to All Washington State Congressional Delegates. The Assistant to the Director provides direct support for the Director, Department and Administrative Logistical Support, acts as specific point of contact for beta information, provides online grant management system, or OGMS support, and BETA website maintenance. The Program Specialist 3 provides Waivers Plus help desk support, provides initial IBEST approval, supports all BETA IBEST programs, maintains web resources for IBEST, maintains BETA and corrections education websites, develops corrections education college catalogs, prepares corrections education annual and quarterly reports, and supports all corrections education meetings and conferences. The Basic Skills Policy Associate for Diversity, Equity, and Inclusiveness and Barrier Mitigation has responsibility for diversity, equity, and inclusion initiatives and trainings, barrier mitigation and closing the opportunity gap, Staffing the Adult Education Advisory Council, or AEAC, and the Council of Basic Skills, or CBS, and development and facilitation of the BETA New Director Orientation and Training. The Basic Skills Policy Associate for Corrections Education has the responsibility for Guided and I-Best Pathways for Corrections Education, acts as the liaison to corrections education sites, colleges, and the Washington State Department of Corrections, manages state corrections education legislation, and provides leadership for all corrections education and programming, including basic education for adults, workforce education, AA degrees, and reentry initiatives. The Basic Skills Policy Associate for Guided and I-Best Pathways has responsibility for pathway development and implementation, integrated English literacy and civics education, or IELCE, and Integrated Education and Training, or IET, grants and technical support, IBEST Professional Technical, IBEST Expansion, and Academic IBEST Programming and Training, in or out-of-state IBEST Technical Assistance, Contextualized Instruction and IBEST at Work, IBEST in the High School and IBEST for Apprenticeship, IBEST Navigation and Team Teaching Cadres, and I best liaison to councils, commissions, and legislative staff. The Basic Skills Policy Associate for Accountability and Compliance, Adult High School Completion, Program Approval, and Professional Development has responsibility for Adult High School Completion, 
accountability, compliance, and federal regulations, and acts as the liaison to the Office of the Superintendent of Public Instruction, or OSPI, the Workforce Training and Education Coordinating Board Interagency Council, the 12 Washington State Workforce Development Councils, or WDCs, and Work First. They also have responsibility for the RFA Master and Leadership Grants, Extensions, Continuations, and Year-End Reports, Professional Development and the Professional Development Calendar, Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act, or WIOA Technical Support, and High School Program Review and Technical Assistance. The Basic Skills Program Administrator for High School Completion and Professional Development has responsibility for High School Equivalency, High School Completion, High School Reengagement, Open Doors, and High School Plus Development, Technical Assistance, the Integration of Employability Skills, and New Faculty Training. Acts as the HS Plus e learning liaison and provides faculty training on the College and Career Readiness Standards, Contextualized, Integrated, HS Plus Flipped Instruction, Universal Design for Learning, Reading Apprenticeship Teacher Supporters, and LTA. Math or English Transition Courses, and Responsibility for Rendezvous Development. The Basic Skills Program Administrator for iBest at Work and Navigation has the responsibility for iBest at Work Development, Implementation, and Training, the Walmart Giving Grant, iBest at Work Alignment, Employer, Beta, College, Guided Pathways, etc., and Pathway Navigation. The Basic Skills Program Administrator for English Language Acquisition, Integrated Digital English Acceleration, and Distance Learning oversees English Language Acquisition, or ELA, ELA Standards Alignment, IDEA Flipped Instruction, and acts as the e-learning liaison, Distance Learning, IDEA Dissemination, acts as the liaison to all community-based organizations, or CBOs, and CASIS Testing. The Basic Skills Program Administrator for Accountability, Compliance, and Program Review has the responsibility for the Assessment Policy and CASIS Testing, National Reporting System, or NRS, Data Collection and Quality, Program Review and Technical Assistance, Data Requests, and Data for Program Improvement, or DPI. While the previous slides outlined the various positions that make up the SBCTC Basic Education Team, it does not capture the extremely high level of collaboration among the team. This slide known by the team as the bubble chart was developed to capture the critical interconnectedness of the work we do together to support the Basic Education for Adults State Plan and the implementation of BEDA's strategic direction and implementation. It is also important to understand the commissions and councils makeup of the community and technical college system and how the chain of command works within the system. At the top of the chart is the Washington Association of Community and Technical Colleges Presidents, or WACTC. WACTC develops policy recommendations to the State Board for Community and Technical Colleges and to the system in conjunction with seven commissions and their councils. The Council of Basic Skills, or CBS, is under the Instruction Commission, or IC. In order to move concerns, policy changes, and initiatives forward, the committees within CBS bring items forward to the whole body of CBS. The chair of CBS then takes the ask to the Transitions Committee of the Instruction Commission. The Transitions Committee presents the initiative to the entire body of IC for approval or forwarding to WACTC. WACTC then approves and moves it to the SBCTC Board for final approval. Please explore the additional resources available in the Resources section of this Canvas module for more information on federal, state, and agency organization of basic education for adults. Of particular relevance to this video are the following documents and web pages U.S. Department of Education, Office of Career Technical and Adult Education, or OCTE, Office of Adult Education and Literacy, Washington State Community College Act, Washington State Board for Community and Technical Colleges, SBCTC Commissions and Councils, Washington Basic Education for Adults.